gang, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. So if you have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comments section underneath this video and use the Ask Mark hashtag to get yourself or your question featured. Today I'm answering a question from Kyle Knickerbocker about diving in Florida and what thickness of wetsuit to wear. So Kyle says, I'm moving from the west coast of the United States to Florida on the east coast. I currently dive a 7mm wetsuit with hood and gloves. I'm being told that a 3mm will cover most of my needs now. What would be a good cost-effective exposure protection to look into? Now, water temperature diving around Florida can range from the mid 80s in the heat of summertime to low 60s Fahrenheit in the winter. For exposure protection, as always, it depends on your constitution, but a good three mil wetsuit will get you through the summertime, no problem. The wintertime, I'd probably be in a seven mil or probably a dry suit. Uh, so you'll be able to take your seven mil and reuse that. That means that you can dive in the wintertime now. Um, I mean, yeah, the 65 or sort of the, the low 60 Fahrenheit. Yeah, with, with a good enough 7 mil and hood and gloves and whatnot, which you already have, you should be able to repurpose them for the winter time if you do want to go diving in the winter time. For the summer time, yeah, it's going to be nice and warm. And chances are, if you're used to that colder water temperatures, then you're probably going to have a slightly stronger, tougher constitution uh, compared to the, the locals, as it were. Uh, but yeah, a, a 3 mil full length suit is the usual recommended in those kind of waters uh is is really one of those things you kind of have to like rent one first see how you get on and then yeah if this is all right maybe try a shorty or vice versa it, you kind of have to try it is what i'm saying because i mean i've been on dives where i've been in a dry suit but the guy to uh, to the right of me has been in a two and a half mil shorty. It, it just depends. Some people really can take the cold, and I take it fairly well. But I'll still be in a dry suit just because I'd rather have too much than not enough. Um, but yeah, a, a three mil full suit would do you uh, sort of quite well. Nice brands out there. I mean, Aqualung have some quite nice suits nowadays. They're Xscape, I think they call it. Um, it's made out of a lot of recycled materials, which is quite nice. And that's like a, a four mil, uh, so a good middle ground. It's, it's almost five mil. Um, Bare, B-A-R-E, lovely, lovely suits. They're by no means the cheapest, but they're really nice. I quite like their Revel, I think it's called. Uh, it's just all black. I think they do a retro, like blue and red version of it nowadays for their 50th anniversary or something so that's an option but again they're not the cheapest but they're really really nice and stretchy as well um scuba pro scuba pro always make real nice neoprene um but yeah those are my like sort of top threes if you can get hold of like waterproof uh waterproof do make really nice wetsuits as well um but yeah I, i'd be looking at those and like fourth element because you can get fourth element out in the states now